Hello and welcome to another edition of Inside Northeast. Uh, this is Durba Thiani and Prakash Deka's Jonaki Porua, that is Fireflies, is all set to release to Indian audiences and it is already creating quite a buzz. Uh, and that is due to its sensitive subject. So Jonaki Porua traces the story of a trans woman living in a village in Assam. And this is about her life and her journey to self-awareness. And to speak about this film, we have with us the producer Milind Datta, uh, we have the director Prakash Deka, we have Pitopi Datta, who, as Milind says, has been the, you know, the, the the spine behind the film, and she has made it all happen. And we also have the lead actor Benjamin. So, hello and welcome to this edition of Stories from the Northeast. Uh, so, Milind, let me come to you first, since you are not only the producer of this film, but you know, you are also uh, a, a social activist, apart from being a computer engineer, uh, you're also a social activist who fights for the rights of the LGBT community in the Northeast. So what inspired this film? Uh, and uh, does your personal journey, your experiences, do they lend themselves to the film? Sure. Thank you. Um, First of all, thank you for uh, reaching out to us and, uh, you know, giving us a platform to talk about the movie. Um, yes, um, I, uh, I am a trans man myself. And uh, when I saw a trans woman, uh, uh, or rather Hijra, ask me is Hijra a woman for the first time, um, that was the uh, moment where I, you know, I thought about it and I was thinking about myself uh, um, if i have you know born in a male body uh, you know maybe it would be much difficult for me to uh, walk as a woman uh, and for um, female to male i feel it was much easier so when i met that uh, woman for the first time in a uh, slum that is the moment you know it just stuck in me and i was just thinking about her and because I live half of my time in U.S., I, you know, I have the freedom to be with whomever I like to be with or marry whomever I want to meet. It's by thinking about a documentary movie. And I, the same, very same day evening, I happened to meet Prakash and we were sitting together, you know, in a cocktail party for our friend's wedding. Um, and that is the first time I met Prakash. And uh, everybody was busy with the cocktail party and I, my mind was in the slum. And I didn't feel like, you know, it was just a, you know, too extreme in the slum and the cocktail party. And, you know, I was talking to Prakash and I was telling Prakash that it would be a great idea if you could make a documentary movie about trans women or about Hizra. And uh, Prakash said that uh, he, would, he would really want to make a piece of lip you know so it is he who insists that you know we should make a face of film and i was like okay let me think about it he's like you know why do don't you become a producer and i never thought that i'll ever produce a movie so it is just because prakash insisted and uh, and his passion and he was very you know excited about this topic and the you know his uh, he was so very driven about it so from there the movie started Okay, great. So that brings me to you, Prakash. Then, so Milin has Prakash. Apuna, re to film korar pisot ki uddesho asil. Okay, uddesho bolle bolle actually cinema apun ami jira independent film kar ta independent film making bolle kuch bo. To cinema apun a subject kuch logo ta amar ta bida damar uddesho ta kasi independent film or. Ata bida damar struggle ata bolte pichhi bida soliya sir. I mean, I think that I'm a LGBT Europe, I LGBT struggle as an independent film or a struggle. So I mean, Ziguno come for Logote, cinema subject to Logote, independent filmmaking of Amicanada or Honas of the Park. Etiamar Lahal have a chance, you say. The happy Etia Kidiman for a good basic solution to something as good or meet to be sure. The Kenebo Kanoka struggle by Heroman or Kivata Tam for a carne by Man Tangan market to Kumar Karne Cinema Hon Bonaidia, Bishop Cinema, Ulania, Kanakiman Tangan struggle at the Hokolo Villa Gostu, Amik Kamata Pori, A Cinema Hon, the independent film of Kibata or Honago Paria from Hal Cinema. Independent film of Kihoi, commercial was totally benevolent, independent film of Kihoi, 
ভাল বস্তু দিহে আমি মার্কেট এটা লোক পাব কারণ আমার কোনো স্টার নাথাকে হি না থাকে তো আমি সিনেমা যদি ভালকে বনাব পড়ো আমি ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট ফিল্ম যদি কিনা এটা মানে তার একটা ভাল সিনেমা হিসাবে পার্ট হবো সেই একটা উদ্দেশ্য থাকে বহুত ভাবি চিন্তি করা হয় আর এল জি বি টিউ কথা হল কি মানে সিনেমা আগলকে প্রত্যক্ষ ভাবে ডাইরেক্টলি এল জি বি টি কিউর জড়িত নাছিল মানে যদিও মোট ফ্রেন্ড আছে বহুত মিলিয়নক তো মানে সিনেমার আগে লগ পাইছো তার বাইরেও মোট কিছু ফ্রেন্ড আছে যে বম্বে কিছু ফ্যাশন ডিজাইনার আসে মোট তো সিহতক মানে ভালকে কিন্তু ডাইরেক্ট কমিউনিটির আনুষ্ঠানিক ভাবে কোনো কামত মানে জড়িত নাছিল বিটপি জড়িত আসলে তো বিটপির মুখ শুনে থাকো তো মোরও ইচ্ছা আসলে কিনা এটা করার কারণে আর আমি সর পর গাঁর কিছু দেখে সিনেমা খান ট্রেলার তো সবই গম পাইছে তার যে লেডিস লেডিসকে জুকাই বা যে স্ট্রাগল দেখিছে গাঁ তো আমার গাঁত কিছু আসলে যা যা গাঁত মানুষের লেডিস বলে জুকাই বা আমিও বুঝি পো সমাজের প্রেসারত বা ঘর মানুষ প্রেসারত আছে তো সেই বস্তুবিল মানে কিনা এটা ফিল করেছিল যে কিনা এটা যে স্ট্রাগল এটা দেখিছিল তো এই চান্স লাগে মানে যে মানে প্রথম কথা ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট সিনেমার অডিয়েন্স বাড়িবলে সেই একটা সিনেমা সমাজ পেয়েছিল যে কথা এল জি বি টি কিউর যদি মানে ধর সিনেমা এখনের জড়িয়ে মানে একটা কথা কো যে এজন মানুষের আমার কিনা একটা কামর দ্বারা যদি এজন মানুষের কিনা একটা চেঞ্জ আছে সেইটো বহু ডর কথা এটা মো সুকর আগত বেঞ্জুর চেঞ্জ দেখিছো বহুত খুব সিনেমা এখন উপর আর বহুত খুব চেঞ্জ দেখিছো হি পুরা মানে হেই নিজকে পুরা উলিয়াই আনিছে একদম তার যে সাহস দেখিছো মো প্রথম লগ পো আর এটা তার পিছত আমার গাঁতে ধর সিনেমা এখন করতে মানুষের মানে হয়তো কমিউনিটি কমিউনিটির মানুষ মানে আমার গাঁতে হিজরা শব্দ তো মানে কবল মানুষে অলপমান সংকোচ করেছে শুটিং সময় আমার ঘরের মানুষে ধর মো মায়ে যেটা সিনেমা এখন বনাব এই সেইটু বলে কব মানে সেইটা সাবজেক্টের উপর বনা যে হিজরা বলে কবলে মানে তো এই চেঞ্জ বিল লাই আছে এটা ট্রেলার তো মোট নিজের ঘরের মানুষে শেয়ার করেছে তো সেই বস্তুবিল মানে এইবিল উদ্দেশ্য লাইবার এইখান পিছন আরো বহুতে করব এইখান পিছন মানে নাটক করেছে গুহাটিতে লাই লাই ইমোশনালাইম কিন্তু <laughs> ভাগলিউড সাউথ ইন্ডিয়ান কিনা এটা মানে একটা প্লেটফর্ম হয়েছে ভাল সিনেমা আর বেয়া সিনেমা বলে গেছে তো গতি ভাল সিনেমা মানুষ চাব বিচার আমি এটা কিছু লেঙ্গুয়েজ বুঝি নাপাও কিন্তু আমি চাও সাব টাইটেল নোহাকেও আমি চাও ইয়ানিয়ান সিনেমা চাও চাও কোরিয়ান সিনেমা চাও তো গতি আর এই বিষয়ে বহুত খুব চেঞ্জ হয়েছে মানে এল জি টিউর মানে বহুত খুব চেঞ্জ হয়েছে মানে দেখি আসো বেশি Yeah, that's is it due to also the the uh, the digitization as as he also said prakash you know netflix and all these kind of platforms nowadays uh, could that also be uh, another reason yeah. this is definitely a hit hit main karan hit main karan hit worldwide forward main karan digital media aro ekta kotha moi kobo bisare মানে কথা হল কি আজকাল সিনেমা বিল বর্তমান সময় মানে পাবলিসিটি বহুত ডর বস্তু আমি দশ টাকার প্রোডাক্ট এটা ছয় টাকা এডভার্টাইজ খরচ করে আজ তো আমার সিনেমার যা মেইন স্ট্রিম সিনেমা আমার সিনেমা খুব যেহেতু বাজেট তাতকে বেশি পয়সা ত্রিশ চল্লিশ লাখ টাকালে অকল পাবলিসিটি খরচ করে অকল খরচ হিন্দি সিনেমা তো কথাটা বেড মেইন স্ট্রিম হিন্দি সিনেমা 
কোটি কোটি টাকা খরচ করে কিন্তু আমি লাকি যে মানুহে মানুহৰ দৰে মেচিন যে সিনেমা পাবিছ কৰিছে আৰু কিমি লাখ নিউ ট্ৰেইলাৰ টু দুদিনৰ ভিতৰত তো হেতু হেতু এলজিবিটি সাবজেক্ট মানে ভাল পাইছে হেতু ওপৰত মানুহে ইমান কি হৈছে গতিক অবভিয়াসলি ওকে when you speak about feelings uh, that you wanted to Uh, make something where it had there's a universality it's not just for the intellectuals and, and that's how i felt when i saw the trailer because it evoked these emotions in me and uh, i think benjamin speaking of him uh, you have very beautifully portrayed those emotions expressed those emotions you know you just connect with him somehow so benjamin yeah. this is your first film yes this is my first thing this is my actually first uh, work uh, doing with the camera and this is my obviously this is my first name and yeah this is my goodness okay so but but you're very good so uh, w- oh, were you not you yeah were you not uh, you know kind of nervous and camera shy because <laughs> yeah, it doesn't uh, look like that at all <laughs> i was obviously i was very nervous i was very shy because like i'm not a uh, before the film i was very a shy kind of person i was not like not uh, like i don't like to hang out with bunch of group like i don't like to hang out with a bunch of people i don't like to talk much when uh, after that film it have changed me like a lot it have changed me like it have changed me on myself and uh, yeah i was very shy and the first day i was like very shy for that uh, i need to uh, take i think uh, more shots than i need to <laughs> because i was very shy to the camera i was very shy to people that's why mm-hmm. uh, prakash you uh, mentioned some of the challenges but uh, uh, can you can you still further elaborate on you know as an ahomia independent filmmaker um, as a, as an independent filmmaker uh, key key challenges face kare চেলেঞ্জ বুলি কলে আপনি মানে ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট ফিল্ম মেকার সবকে মানে কিছু চেলেঞ্জ সবই কব মানে আর মোর কারণে আটাইতক ডর চেলেঞ্জ আসলে কি মানে বহুত বছর ধরে মানে মানে বহুত আগর পর জড়িত মানে কেন সর নাটক জড়িত বা আগতে টিভি সিরিয়াল টিয়াল বহুত জড়িত আসলে কিন্তু যা দশ বছর ধরে মানে গম্ভীর আসো তো মানে যেটা আহিল হঠাৎ মোট চিনাকি মানুষবিল বেলে বেলে কাম করেছে মোট কোনো চিনাকি নাছিল তো অকলে গোটেখিনি কাম করবল হল আর মানুষখিন ললো প্রফেশনালি টাইম আছে শুটিং স্ক্রিপ্ট চাইছে আর দ্বিতীয় কথা হল কি মানে একদম কম বাজেট করবল কারণে প্রডাকশন ম্যানেজার না আমার তো ডাইরেক্টর রাইটারে প্রডাকশন চাবল মানে আটাইতক ভুল কাম ভুল কামে বলে কোবল হয়তো মোট এই ভুলও হয়েছে সাকি অল্প কিনা কিনে মেনেজ করে কিনে প্রডাকশন ম্যানেজার রাখি লাগিছিল বেলে কোরবান বাজেট তো কমাই দিয়ে কিন্তু মানে ভাবা নাছিল যে পারিম বলে ভাবিল আর প্রবলেম তো হয়ে গেল কি শুটিং আগে মিল থাকি অল্প সুবিধা হলে মিলিও যাবল হল আর কি শুটিং এর মাজত অকন প্রডাকশন বিটপি হেল্প করেছিল তার শুটিং এর মাজত আয়ারল্যান্ড যাবল হল তো মানে মানে অকলশরিয়া হয়ে গেল মানে তো তার ভিতর প্রডাকশন কিচেন কথা ভাবি লাগে মানে সবজি আর টাইম টেবল বিট কম আসলে আপনি এনে চাব এখন ফিচার ফিল্ম শুটিং মিনিমাম পঁচিশ দিন লেগে থাকে তো আমার আসলে সেভেন্টিন ডেজ মাত্র সতেরো দিন আসলে তাতে আপনার তিন দিন বরফ মানুষের <laughs> মানে <laughs> So Milin are you happy so far with the response that this uh, the the trailer has generated and uh, perhaps at some film festivals the response that you have received are you encouraged Yes I am more than happy um uh, I think uh, B2B had done an excellent job on applying for various film festival and it has gone to almost 20 film festival already and um, and you know 
I didn't have any idea about uh, production. So I told people that I became a uh, producer by accident uh, because I'm totally depending on Prakas and B2P because my knowledge in movie industry, I didn't have any. Um, so I, you know, I learned one on one about film making a little bit, and um, and specifically last two days, you know, I had an interview last Sunday uh, at the um, Homokami. Uh, yes, let's say to Nam. Do you remember B two P? Homokami kuno apar na. Ha, Homokami kuno apar apar na. So we were talking before that with the person. And I had asked him who, you know, who, uh, you know, who all they interviewed before me because I was the fourth. So they told like they had talked to so and so, so and so. Then I talked about Benjamin, and they said, oh, he's an actor, blah blah blah. So uh, you know, he made him. He was in Fireflies. So then I said that, oh, I'm the producer of the movie. He's like, oh, <laughs> because he didn't know that. So then after that, he like immediately added a question about that, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Benjamin is the face, was, uh, and he is the yeah, he is the one in the spotlight. Yeah. yeah, because he was the hero, and he was already interviewed on that uh, page. Mm -hmm. uh, so he was number three, and I was number four. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I said that producer, then he added a question about about the movie and stuff like that. He then he asked. So mm -hmm. I'm very happy. Fantastic. Last two days. Yeah, yeah. Right, Peter. It was already good. Last two days, it has really gone up well. Great. And great. specifically, it's Pride Month. Mm -hmm. It's Pride Month, absolutely. Which is why I think uh, uh, the session that we are having is also very, very relevant because this is the Pride Month. And Milin, uh, you know, you straddle two worlds. You are half the time in the US, half the time in Assam. And like you also said at the beginning, you know, you see the privileged uh, people um, or you go to parties, cocktail parties. And on the other hand, you are keenly aware of how things are for a large section of trans people. So uh, do you think there is more awareness and greater acceptance abroad compared to our own country? Um, definitely, you know, it is, you know, because when I went to meet the uh, the trans women, when I went to Islam, you know, to meet the Hijra community, I took a book, you know, it's about Al Alan Krug. So Alan Krug, she is a, uh, a lawyer, trans woman. I met her at the Rotary Club and she's one of my mentors. And she is very motivational speaker. She gives excellent speech. And then, and before coming, that time before coming, I was uh, campaigning, door knocking uh, in in uh, US for before the election, you go door knock. And I was door knock for Andrea Jenkin. Andrea Jenkin is our, uh, what do you call, council member, elected council member. We have 13 of them. And in Minneapolis, city of Minneapolis is most progressive. And we made a world record by having two trans council member at the same time. So we, I had door knock for Andrea Jankin. If you Google up Andrea Jankin. So uh, Andrea Jankin is a, um, is my mentor and she inspired me. She is a trans woman, she's a poet, she's a, um, you know, a council member. She's really doing lots of change. And because we have two trans in the, uh, council, as a council member, so we have lots of stuff going on in Minneapolis for trans community. And I, I was elected to be a trans, um, they have a community called trans equity community, basically. Mm -hmm. So I was elected member. So we meet every month uh, and then we do a, a trans health summit. So last year we had this seven annual, I think, uh, trans health summit and city does it. You know, city does it. City is trying to make sure that trans people are accepted in the park, in the, you know, everywhere. So in the city buses also, they will have, you know, say Metro Transit. So they will have a person, trans people in that, you know, in the advertisement. They try to put, you know, trans people over there so that it becomes new normal. Okay, so Minneapolis, yeah, and more than fashion, my point is that 
in Minneapolis for trans women this or anywhere else in India there's nothing called hijra you know okay. why do we have this whole hijra community so you hope. you are a trans man but, but do you think uh, I answer your question uh, so are you saying that uh, trans women have it tougher uh, in this hierarchy would yes. you say there is a hierarchy that yes. exists and trans women are at the bottom of it yes yes that's what i feel i may be wrong but i feel that you know and even the lgbtq the gay men are the most privileged all right they have money they have you know and anywhere you know most of the uh, gay uh, even queer pride you will be seeing that in the front they will be generally the gay men generally you know then lesbian maybe bisexual trans is in the bottom and then specifically trans women has to go through a much more harder it's much more harder for them socially you know people do not accept them you know trans men generally quite often people do not notice them or we can just fit in or pass pass as a man but quite often trans women you know they they have more visible so again that is my point of view my opinion you know i'm sure there are other people really on this so uh, uh, milin uh, and prakash uh, is that the reason why you also decided to make a movie focusing on the trans woman because uh, you are aware of how difficult it is in a patriarchal society as btp says is that why you decided to uh... it was you know i wanted a movie on transgender i wanted a movie on hijra because i was affected by the whole thing and um that they have to leave this society that that was the motto that they have to they think that they do not belong to this community right and for me like what if i was born in a wrong gender you know for me it was that thinking going on so for me i was not even willing to make a movie or anything you know it was just transgender i wanted to have a talk about hijra so for me if that topic is the main thing so i think it mainly goes to prakash because prakash why he wanted to that you know for me it's a the topic is the more main thing na cinema kon cinema ni noi jikono art ta create korte mane audience kotha to prathom matha rakhibo lagibo फेमिनिजिम बेंजामिन there's this scene where you know it's it's a very romantic scene i think you are asking the man whether he too feels the same way for you so is it also a love story is fireflies also a love story benjamin question for me yeah uh actually it's more of a struggle it's not kind of a love story too but you know we have to struggle for the love also as a gay as a lgbt uh, qia plus community we have to struggle for our love also because it's not easy to get a love it's not easy to get love by anyone like like some people are there like who accept us who like really support us but it's like really hard to find a love so it's a it's actually a journey. there are probably uh, more suicides among the transgender community Uh, is that true and how do you think we can create more awareness should it start in schools should there be courses in universities uh, how do we make society more aware and children more comfortable with who they are in their own skin that's true actually uh, um 
suicide rates in the LGBTQIA community and especially uh, trans people is high because the rate of rejection, the bullying, the stigma and everything is like uh, very high. Higher compared uh, to, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, I wouldn't do a comparison when it comes to lives, you know, it's, I, would, I mean, of course, there is a hierarchy, there is a, there, there's always, uh, you know, somebody suffers more than somebody else, that's always there, but mm -hmm. as a whole LGBTQIA community, including, uh, you know, trans people, definitely, uh, you know, struggle a lot. I mean, there's a, the, 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 that life struggle is on a different level. So I wouldn't say that one, somebody is more prone to suicide than other. No, I don't think it is a very, that's, that's a very it's nice idea. It's not fair. Yes. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Everybody has their own challenges. Yeah. So, um, but yes, queer community as a whole, um, there's a lot of suicides in there because, because, because we live in a very uh, heteronormative and patriarchal and homophobic society. Uh, most mm -hmm. of the time, the world is not uh, progressed to that extent that we would like to imagine yet. But things are changing, but still. Uh, when it comes to awareness, I would say, why not at from home itself? You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it should uh, start the moment we are born. I mean, you know, see, the kind of wish, I think it is very important to realize how we also participate in constructing a very homophobic society unknowingly. For example, so you think it starts at home? Of course, it does. It does. Everything starts at home. The good thing, good thing starts at home, and also the bad thing starts at home. So mm -hmm. definitely, homophobia also starts at home. Right. I'm not saying. But that what about that institution? School? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, um, you know, right at nursery, the second second uh, uh, society or community that a child uh, gets exposed to is uh, the school environment. Right? Nursery. Mm -hmm. uh, they started from the nursery level. You mm -hmm. know. Uh, make it um, you know gender diverse gender varied right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, even when as toddler when toddlers kind of interact like you know when when it uh, tells stories to uh, children you mm -hmm. know make it um, queer sensitive LGBTQIA sensitive you know gender sensitive right mm -hmm. make it feminine I mean that's how I kind of see it so of course and as we like grow up so that kind of you know uh, adds up like you know that that's how we change and you know in colleges we have uh, now gender studies departments women studies department right. at the same time you know, i mean uh, but um, that comes there's much also later. been some chatter bit of around pronouns uh, special pronouns uh, you know how important is that i think it's very um, i think it's very obvious isn't it like i'm a woman and mm -hmm. uh, like throughout this interview if you'd call me if you think that you know if you address me as a he like it be uh, what did you know if you say like while addressing how did me, he people, feel okay if i refer to I, you as him mm -hmm. it, you know, very nicely so i think it's very obvious like you know so pronoun i wouldn't say that it's it's only important my i, I think it's it's how it should be it is mm -hmm. not you know something that we have to learn uh, you know separately but if we start accepting or uh, respecting the individuality of each person, the sexual, the you know, the gender variant, uh, the, the sexuality of each person as your say chooses, uh, the pronoun thing just comes in by okay. you know, it's a, okay, like, right. so, um, Milly was Milly. message that each of you would uh, like to convey. I know your movie itself is the message Fireflies Jonaki Porua, which is releasing shortly and which we are all waiting to watch. A film that needs to be watched, that must be watched. But apart from that, any other message that you would like to convey through this interview? Prakash, coming to you first. I actually, as a director, as an audience, I have a lot of Good man, pretty by satisfied after a performance of the HOB Benzo satisfied. Benzo or Moino have compared to Sagan that has more homos and has to be then to have to be published. The Hitu can now talk to my Nizal but Savile Bong adopted some. So, little of a town key, a mar cinema from Halke Manuha, a quality of next next to be come for a planning as a Halkal cinema. To Savam, Etiaro, are backing boot, are we coming for one for a city of Halho, so broken up a position. Mane Bhut climate change Okay, so Benjamin, what do you feel? 
Prakash has adopted you, so to say. <laughs> yeah, obviously, like, um, I just want to say one thing, like, if you produce a film, there are not only, like, uh, we, had, uh, we don't have only one reason to uh, produce something. There are several reasons, there are several things, like, if someone wants to show this or someone wants to show that i i me uh, i'm a person i stand for no labels i uh, like i stand for no labels like there should be no labelizing about uh, people like this is uh, this is uh, like he's that he's this she's that you know like people have to be like see i am hindu but my religion i uh, i uh, believe my religion is first um, humanity so humanity came first then after your a religion and after caste, whatever it is, but humanity, nationality, is so all of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so people have to believe. like first they have to think if they are passing, like basing on the slip, like if they're passing some comments to someone, they have to think like he's also human. He's not a he's not a criminal or he's not a monster. He's not doing anything wrong. He's just living his own way. Like let him live. Yeah, as I said, for me, humanity came first. And action toward awareness, like you said, only when somebody is aware, uh, can you even have a discussion with that person? Can you have a one on one with that person? Otherwise, it's, it's yeah. just ridiculous labeling. It's so coming ridiculous. to you. Yes, Milin, I'd like to come to you. Uh, what, what would you like to convey to people who are watching this interview right now? Is there any experience that you too would like to share, which has been very disappointing for you? Sure. Hmm. few things came up. So uh, regarding the pronouns, for example, I start with the pronoun thing. So when I, I uh, transition late in life, okay? So one thing that when you talk about education, right? right? If people were educated, if people were allowed to be who they were, like, you know, now in the US, you know, if four year old, I know a four year old boy said to his mom that I, I'm a girl. And his parents let him be a girl. So four years old, okay? He has no idea about sexuality and all that, but he said he's a girl. From today, mm -hmm. I'm going to be a girl. Mm -hmm. And parents have allowed them to be, him to be a girl. So, and he's able to live his, her life. She's able to live her life. She has quite a lot. Of, but my point is that because I didn't get a chance, I knew that I always felt like a boy. But I didn't get a chance. I tried to be a woman, but I was not happy in my own body. I, you know, people, you know, others will laugh at me, but I was much more angry. You know, I was very upset with God for making me in this body. You know, I was very angry with that. Mm -hmm. And now I have come down much more. You know, B two B may laugh at that, but you know, I am much more calmer because I accepted myself now. Mm -hmm. But I, I transition late at night. So that means I missed out so much. Correct, you correct, know, I absolutely. Missed, I missed yeah. out so how much. Can, how can it be made life, sooner? You know? How can the whole thing happen sooner, so, Milin? How can a child be comfortable? It, yes, in that's his what or I'm saying. So, yes. For example, if people would have said from our God Paramo Koisile, eight, Lauren is not hake, Lauren is not, you know, Lucky Puja, Lucky Sorit Pohibo, like all the girls have to be lucky. Like we have all these categories now. Nah? You know, nobody allowed, like, you know, and that word also was not there. You know, it was my luck, maybe things are changing now. I feel the younger generation is much more lucky. And that's why we have talked like that, right? So one more thing I want to bring in over here also. Like in 2014, when B2P, me and others, we start gay pride. That time people did not even talk about gay and lesbian. I mean, they didn't even want the whole gay word. They don't even talk. But now every household talk about gay and lesbian. So 2014 to now, you know, thing changed, right? So similarly, now we are making this movie. Hopefully people will either love it or even if they hate it, that's fine too. But they will discuss, you know, it will be in a table, right? Mm -hmm. And we would like people to be. And uh, it, it's a reminder to all of us um, to become more aware. Uh, and and uh, at least this movie is going to be a conversation starter. Like you just said, there may be disagreements, but the conversation has to begin. And I think it's a very bold and courageous move. So thank you so much, Bitopi, Prakash, 
uh, Benjamin and to you, Milin, for making this movie and to bring it to us and for being a part of this interview. So from uh, Stories from the Northeast, at Inside Any, this is Durba Dhyani signing off on this episode. Group of Sela Bonua Hoise Hokolo Asundori Hatali Bazao.